The weather is bad, it's cold, the nights are long, the sun sets at 5 p.m. This is the winter. I don't know about you, but I am not really a lover of the winter. It is stressful, it is cold, and it is dark. What I want to do is stay in bed and go on TikTok. But obviously, have to get up, have to be productive, and that's just how life goes. So today I'm going to be telling you guys, taking you through what I do when I am experiencing the winter slump because I don't like feeling sad. I don't like when it's dark and it's cold and staying in my apartment all day. So I'm going to show you guys how I escape the winter slump. I feel like oftentimes I just wake up and I get this overwhelming urge to listen to sad music. But this is probably the worst thing that I could do for myself in a slump because it just makes me even more sad. When I'm not feeling great, what I try to do is listen to happy and uplifting music, especially in the morning. Gets me happy, gets me positive for the day to come. I feel like during the winter slump, what happens is I stay inside. All I want to do is wear my pajamas and wear no makeup. A lot of the times, eventually, I'll start to feel insecure. I feel like also with winter, my skin becomes dry, my, my hair is dry, my hair never seems to work, it's flat, and I just don't enjoy how I look sometimes. So what I like to do is get ready. Get dressed up, you know, whether it's to go to school or out for a walk. Sometimes getting dressed up for the day can be really fun. Even though I literally just changed my outfit, I already feel better and I'm excited to hit the town even though I'm literally just going to the library to study. I just feel like getting dressed up always makes me feel better. I'm already sweating now. <gasps> Need to go outside. Fit check. Fit check. I am just sitting in a park right now. I just went on a walk because it's finally a nice day. It literally hasn't been a nice day in so long. If it's the winter and there's finally a nice day, I need to force myself to go outside because it always makes me feel so much better without fail. And, you know, gives me perspective. So that's awesome. I don't know if those of you who watch me know, I love food. So whenever I'm feeling crappy, I love to just make myself really tasty meals. Ones that are healthy, so I like eat them and I feel like, feel healthy. And I love having like good little snacks because I don't know, food just makes me happy. So let's go to the grocery store, let's get some groceries. And then I'm gonna make one of my favorite meals. My grandma lent me her car for the winter, which is absolutely spectacular. But yeah, now I'm gonna go to the grocery store, get some groceries, and then make a nice tasty lunch. We have arrived at the grocery store. Unfortunately, I don't have change to use a cart. I'll figure it out, I guess. Let's go to the grocery store. I got some craisins, which signifies a successful grocery trip. Let's head home, baby. Kinda need to open the window, it's really hot. Today's meal is going to be lemongrass chicken and a salad. That is what Papa is grilling today. Mm. I think that's all. We'll see. 
it. I was indeed wrong and there were more ingredients. I think this is around the amount of ginger that I need. A little bit of brown sugar. Win a win a chicken dinner. <laughs> Fit check. Cute. I'm going to soccer right now. And that's just kind of another one of the ways that I get out of a slump is by doing exercise. I love exercising, you know, especially when it's something I like, like soccer. And yeah, let's head to the game. I'm definitely going to be late. But whatever. Today I'm going to the pool. I go to the pool like once a week. So let's, let's go to the pool. I literally hate wearing this bathing suit because it's too small, but I don't want to get another one because they're all so expensive. Another fit check. Boom. Anyway, so another thing that I like to do when I'm in a slump is find fun things to do. Things that I enjoy. So I'm gonna go to the art gallery right now. Check it out. But ju just doing things like that make me have a better day. Get me out of the slump and I'm going somewhere. I'm doing something. Just doing fun little things. somewhat lacking in the brown sugar department, so we must go to the store to purchase some of that. Honestly, I've really enjoyed baking recently. I find it's a very fun pastime, and you also get a little treat out of it. So when I'm feeling not so great, Baking can be really fun, especially with my friend, like my friend came over and then we decided to bake cookies. And then you can just talk and like listen to music and I find that that will always make me feel better. And I don't know, it's fun. And again, you get like a little treat after, so who doesn't want a little sweet treat? So yet another example of one of these activities that get me out of the slump is cards. I love playing cards, it's so fun. My friend and I are playing the game Speed here, but I kind of want to learn how to play Solitaire so I can also play cards by myself. Because I feel like that would also be a fun game to play, but I don't know, I just really enjoy doing things that don't require my phone because it just makes me feel better, it makes me feel more present, and I don't know. All right guys, another tip of getting out of the slump, cutting off your hair. <laughs> Don't do this at home. No, but I'm actually going berserk over my hair these days. It's irritating me so much and I, don't know what to do. So I'm gonna cut my bangs. Is this a poor decision? Uh, yes, it is. Every time I cut my bangs, it does not go well. But you know what? I don't care. I need this. So we're gonna do a little chop I'm eternally struggling on whether to have long hair or short hair. I think I'm gonna grow it long and then eventually cut it because I kind of love my hair short. But anyway, let's cut the bangs. My hairdresser did say to just go straight across. When it dries, it's going to be, I'm gonna lean down. When it dries, it's gonna be shorter. So you don't wanna cut too much off, you know? Cause that could go poorly more so than it probably already will. Awesome, that is probably not even at all. I don't think I've ever gone through a period in my life where I haven't struggled with what to do with my hair. Like, I really like it when it's short and has lots of layers, but then there's literally no hairstyles to do with it, you know? So I'm left with the burning question of how to style my hair. So then I, I don't style it and I just wake up every day and keep it down. But then if it's long, if I just keep it down, I kind of hate how it looks unless I curl it or style it. But then I can actually do cool hairstyles when it's long. So I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. 
I've just not been feeling cute lately. When I am experiencing a slump, what I like to do is just go to sleep because then I don't have to worry or think about things anymore, you know? Because when you're slumbering, you're not thinking about all the stressful things in life unless you dream about stressful things in life. In that case, sleep isn't even an escape. I'm excited to sleep. I haven't gone to sleep this early in a while. It's not that early, it's 12 o'clock though. All right guys, good night. I hope you enjoyed, oh, I hope you enjoyed the vlog, the video, and I don't know, maybe it helped you get out of a little slump you might be in. And if not, hopefully made it made your day better. And if not, sorry you had to watch this. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. It literally took me so long to learn how to do this. My fingers just, didn't work that way. But anyway, goodbye guys.